Hello, hello, loves. So I'm back again with a quick video. Uh, nothing's never quick with me, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to call it quick. Um, I just want to talk about me shopping cell phone kits and some of the things that is um, challenging for me. I don't know about you guys. Um, just not even just silicone kits, but reborn kits as well. A lot of times, I don't know about you guys, but do you find it hard gauging the sizes of the babies? So. You know, everybody just speak in inches. So it's like, um, the good thing about a uh, vinyl, or sometimes the silicone, they, they will give it. But full body silicone, sometimes the sculptures do not give you like all the measurements. And those are so needed. Like, you know, people be like, oh, it's a preemie. Okay, preemie can be anywhere from 12 inches to 17 inches. You know what I mean? Um, and so that, you know, that doesn't help. Okay. So I need inches. So then let's say they say, okay, this baby is 15 inches. Okay. So every sculptor 15 inch baby is different. So you got the head circumference that makes a difference. If it's got a little head, a big head, you know, um, I've had babies that were 15 inches that had heads that were big as a 19 inch baby. And I've had babies that was 15 inches. That head was smaller than a 13 inch baby. Like, I'm just saying like, so you don't really know what size they're gonna be or like the clothes and like, you know, the width because the width makes a lot of difference in the clothes, what they're gonna fit and, and how small they're really gonna be. Cause like my Lola Penelope that I had she was 15 inches but then the and that was the one from um christina and then the other one that i had you remember the little baby that i got from um tori dolls she was 15 inches but her 15 inches was like a toy no offense i mean i love the baby and everything and i actually love that baby. i actually would buy another tori's doll but i would definitely go for the bigger size knowing that it would be small but it was and when I say a toy it was because it was so super narrow, narrow and it just it just was so little like she was just so little but she her I love the armatures that she used in her her dolls like oh my gosh I have not gotten a doll with those type of armatures ever and I love them they like rotate and the arms like can move in like almost like circular motion like us like it it was it was so cool it's the coolest thing so by all means i'm not bashing but i'm just saying there was a huge difference like i really love the size of penelope but the other baby was just too small for me and maybe because i wasn't expecting it but the sculpting on the doll was nice and i i actually enjoyed the sculpting on the doll so anyway so that's where i'm at now because i'm trying to find um so of specific preemies right um and so uh and i started to keep my prototype preemie but i want to sell my first prototype so I'm going to sell her and plus it's quite a bit of people have been interested in her and I just don't want to disappoint people in that way. I may get another one later and paint for my personal collection, but, um, as it stands out when I will sell, but, and she's a bigger size preemie. So that's good, especially for people that love to dress. Cause I, I'm pretty confident that she can wear Carter's preemie so that's good I am looking for a preemie that looks not too sickly you know what I mean but looks like they are actually in the NICU if that makes sense so you know but I have one coming but I'm afraid it might be too small, but it doesn't matter. I just, I, it gives me again experience and I'm really excited about it. Really, really excited about it. So I don't want to speak too soon, 
but I, I do, I will say, and you know, when I was talking to the sculptor, they, you know, she knows that I'm a little bit, you know, on the edge of what size she actually will be in person. Um, and so I felt, you know, compelled to, to explain that just in case I end up painting it and putting it up for sale and they'd be like, oh, she didn't like it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want that to come across as that way. I'm telling you guys up front that I'm looking for a very specific size and, you know, for hand and dressing, such and such, da, 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 Um, so that's where I'm at, but I'm excited, um, about that. But, you know, it's just like my half pints, they are, I think they said that they're 15 inches. So... And look like the limbs are very skinny. So that will be interesting, especially for me, because painting is interesting, painting the really skinny ones. But I'm really excited. Because I'm usually more, when it comes to preemie, I like preemie and silicone. But I love Tink so much as a preemie. So I'm going to see how, I'm going to see how, um, I like Micah's preemie, but he's like a large preemie. Kind of, he's large preemie like um, Genesis. So, I am, you know, we'll see. Because you guys remember I had Carla, um, which was Mia. And she was 13 inches. And, but her size was really nice. At the time, I started to feel like, oh, I don't know, it's kind of too small for me. And then I got a Charles, and I sold that one. I wish I wouldn't have sold my Charles. Um, but I hadn't really experienced real life preemie life. And I haven't really experienced it because I, with COVID, I wasn't able to be there. But to actually see them in live and so many different videos and photos and stuff, it's like, oh my gosh, this real baby is like, literally, like my grandbaby was 12 inches one of them when she was born so yeah so now my perspective have changed so I'm, I'm like I gotta get a little tiny preemie in my collection like I do I have to have preemie, and I really should have two so but I don't want two of the same scope so I'm gonna try this one and hopefully if it's not too too small I am that will be one for my personal collection and eventually I will find another small one to match to to add to that one and so i, I want to have at least two micro preemies in silicone full body in my collection and then after that um yeah i think i'll be done with my premium fix but it's been so crazy like i've been like oh i want a premium i want a premium i want a premium so yeah it's 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 been kind of kind of cool but anyway um and I've been I've been missing the newborn size too, babies. Um, I like painting bigger babies in vinyl as well, but I I miss you know it's like you know the community how it works is one popular artist or sculptor do a big baby, and then everybody else start doing that's all they start sculpting is big baby, big babies, big babies, big babies, and big babies and big babies and big babies. I want my big baby, big baby, big baby. Okay, that's that's my baby back. Okay. Anyway, and they start doing that and it's like, damn, can somebody go to the Wizard of Oz and get a brain of their own? Can we can we can we mix it up here? Can we get some newborns in here? Or everybody go on this sleeper phase or everybody go on the awake phase. It's like, can we mix it up? Like so I been totally missing the real newborn size. That's the other thing I want. I want a silicone baby, a full body silicone baby that is totally newborn. And like Phoebe is still baby, but I want that 18 inch, 17 inch newborn. You know what I mean? Um, that's what I want, you know? eventually down the line not right now I can't afford it right now I've already maxed my budget out for this year and probably up until spring of next year so it'll probably be like March or so before I can buy anything different okay unless 
I just started booming in money and <laughs> which I doubt because I like I said I'm working on a lot of home projects and so oh my gosh I am so excited you know it's a girl I shouldn't say a girl a lady I don't want to call her name, but I follow her on Instagram, and she does a lot of do it. Is it DIY? DIY, do it yourself. DIY. She does a lot of DIY stuff, and she has beautiful decor. I mean, even though there's always a cat in there somewhere. I mean, I guess he's part of her decor. I mean, even with the cat. I mean, y'all know how I feel about cats. I'd be like, dang, that cat look cute. Like she, like she, the cat look even cute. Like she'd be decorating her behind off. And I'm like, I want to see if I can create a space like that on my own. You know, the only thing I'm asking my daughter to do is kind of help me, you know, get some of the leg work done and stuff like that. But I want to design my room the way that I want it. I like it now, the bedding. And I thought my bedding was nice, but my daughter said, my room looked like an old lady with money. Girl, what? I wanted to slap that heifer into the middle of next week. She tried it. Talking about, yeah, I mean, it's just so old fashioned. It's not. My comforter set was not an old comforter set and you know, I mix and match and stuff. It's kind of dark in my room, though. I need some recessed light and put in, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day because I was going to need an electrician and all that Oh, So that ain't going to happen. But it is real dark in there, so I want to lighten it up. So I want to lighten up the bedspread and, you know, just do more stuff. I got a lot of lamps and stuff in there, but I just want to, I want to brighten it up. So... I just wanted to be so calm and when you walk into my room and then oh my god when you go to the bathroom I just want you to just start peeing on yourself because you're just so relaxed <laughs> let it rain <laughs> I saw you and her walking in the rain you were holding hands and I would never be the same okay anyway but y'all know what I'm saying I just wanted to be so relaxing. We'll see how it's going to be. But anyway, this is, this is supposed to be a short video. Let me go. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.